I think that the answer was correct. After a legal battle that spanned more than a decade, the city of Boise has agreed to a settlement in the Martin v. Boise case. This controversial case dealt with giving out citations for homeless people camping on downtown city sidewalks. After moving through the court system for a dozen years, the book on this case now appears to have closed. Our Joey Prechtel joins us live outside of Boise City Hall. And Joey, what does this mean for the city moving forward? How much was the settlement? Well, Mark, this settlement means if no shelter space is available, then police will not be writing any tickets or arresting anyone who is experiencing homelessness. I did talk with the executive director of Interfaith Sanctuary earlier today. She told me that she thinks the settlement was the right thing to do. You need to ensure that people have a place to be sheltered before you write them a ticket. There's not room in the inn. Whose fault is that? Interfaith Sanctuary Executive Director Jody Peterson Steiger says she's excited that the city of Boise has settled a 12 year long legal battle in the Martin v. Boise lawsuit. A big part of the settlement is that the city is spending 1.3 million taxpayer dollars into homelessness. To make sure that those who may not qualify for certain type of shelters will have a safe place to be. The money will go 33% to rehabilitation and shelter stuff on that side that deals with the immediate emergency if people don't have a place to stay. The other, the vast majority of the funding will actually go uh, to stabilizing housing for folks. Boise City Council will also amend a couple ordinances as part of the settlement. They're redefining what uh, not having shelter is. What it's made to do is, you know, if someone can't get into a shelter, we're not going to make it illegal if they're not in the shelter. Peterson says space is at a premium right now in their emergency shelter. We're mostly always full, um, particularly now because of the pandemic. But a full shelter may not be the only reason why someone can't get a bed inside. This agreement covers those folks too. Say that there's someone that's sleeping outside. They came to Interface Sanctuary and they were transgender or they were under the influence of drugs and alcohol and were full there's a good chance that other shelter systems will not be able to offer shelter to them. So that in fact means they have nowhere to sleep that night. If that's the case, they can't be written up for sleeping outside because there's no appropriate accommodation available for them within the shelter system. I also did reach out to the Boise Rescue Mission's president for his thoughts on this settlement. Reverend Bill Roscoe told me he didn't have a comment on that, but what he did tell me tonight is, that, is he says that Boise Rescue Mission almost always has plenty of beds available and there is no reason to sleep outside. I also reached out to the Downtown Boise Association to hear what businesses had to say on this settlement, but I didn't hear back from them tonight. Back to you. 12 year case and again, it appears as if it is closed. All right, Joey, thanks.